and Susie has said some of the, of the things that uh, introduces you, but I wanted to say that for me, uh, I w it, it was a revelation, a fantastic revelation. It was my grandson, Cesar, who had never wanted to, to eat anything that I cooked for years, <laughs> and suddenly wanted to eat everything in the world. Uh, and so you see, you know, it's some, some young children can suddenly change. But he's, he had gone to eat at your towns, and he, he came and he said, this is fantastic, you know, it's wow. So I went there uh, to eat, and I felt, well, um, so much memories and emotions were, were somehow evoked, because his food is mainly and broadly Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, but he has a way of making it his own, uh, and his own, in, in a way, intensely flavorful, exciting, beautiful, uh, <coughs> somehow uh, so appealing that you just want to eat it. And so this is how I, I felt about his, his food. Anyway, also I was very glad that somehow he was one of the people who can make vegetarian dishes utterly luxurious. I got to know Claudia not personally, but uh, when I arrived in London in the late 1990s, I was, uh, despite the fact that I was a good Jewish boy from a good Jewish family, I never cooked gefilte fish or in my life. Uh, not to mention other sort of lesser known classics. But still, I was a, an Israeli, so uh, often I was asked by my friends and my colleagues sort of for recipes and uh, sort of authoritar authoritative advice on uh, how to make a Passover cake or, or, uh, or chopped liver or, or uh, they asked me if chip, fish and chips is really a Jewish kind of food, etc. So I, I, you know, I was perceived as someone who can give answers to questions that I had no idea about. So um, I could just about wing it uh, with the help of Claudia's uh, two sort of seminal books, first the, uh, the Middle Eastern cookbook and then the Jewish cookbook. And using those, those uh, uh, in secret, I actually managed to sort of gain some sort of respectability with all those colleagues that thought, oh, he knows one or two things. So now I can actually come out and just, you know, admit to the world that actually it was Claudia that gave the answer and not me. <laughs>